the latest videos, we're going to make the dragons. For this project, I have two different designs. For the body structures on the dragons, they both are the same. The only difference is on the head. I created these designs based on the character in the Mulan movies that did the dragons. So I make the faces a little more animated. And then this one is just a uh, little baby dragons. And this is to give you some idea what you can do based on my design for these dragons. Today in these videos, I'm going to show you how to make these dragons. For this project, we're going to set our room as a little V here and keep your red arrows point away from you. First, we're going to make its tail and we're going to take one single black band or any other color you like to use. This The black band is for the, the this part. You can use the same color, you will look good too. And I take one single black band, twist only one time, you will see two rings here, and take two bands, and bring these two rings in here, and it's gonna look like this. And we're gonna press right here, from first to second on your left, and again, take one single black band, twist only one time, you will see two rings here, and two more bands of body color, I use red, and then bring this in here, like this, and then press right here from second to third, and we're going to continue to do this until the end of the room here. I'm going to show you one more time. Slowly take one single band, twist one time. You'll see two rings here. And take two body colors and bring this in here. And press right here from third to fourth. Take one single band, twist one time. Bring it in here. Please pause your videos anytime if I'm going too fast. Because for some of you that has more advanced skill, then you should be able to do this part on your own. Then you can just skip this part. This one is the last one here. And for the tail here, you can be creative and do it any way you like to be. And today, for this one, I'm going to do it like this. There's three rings and a tail. I'm going to take three of body colors and put it right here. Just hang in here and take one single black band and smooth it through here, like this. And you put both in on your hook, like this. And then we're going to press this 
right here last one let's keep in like that and now and now I'm gonna rotate our looms and start looping gonna reach under this cap band and grab the bottom two we'll get to the next one like this and now we're gonna continue to loop in all the bands that we usually do grab the bottom two we'll get to the next one grab the bottom two we'll get to the next peg bottom two we'll get to the next peg and we're gonna continue to do this until all the way to the end of the loom here And when you're done of this part, we're going to take it off. And this is our tail. We can just remove your hook slowly, like this. And you can just dip it like this. Or you can keep it on the hook if you have extra hook, just to be safe so you won't get loose. I usually just dip it there and I don't have problems. You can find anything that secure your bands here and put it aside. We can use it later. And now we're going to do its head and neck right here. The same, we're going to keep our setting as a little V here and keep your red arrows point away from you. First, we're going to take two bands, start from the center, first to second, and second to third, two bands, and two bands. Third to fourth, and the last one, we're gonna take one single band. You can use the same color. This just a little ball here. You can use the same color for this project. I'm gonna use a little different color so you can see there's a ball there. I use a little bit darker red, and you're gonna twist for three times so you will see four rings here. And then take two bands of body color and move this through here. And then we're going to place right here. From fourth to fifth. And next, we're going to take two bands. This time we're going to start from second on the center and go on our second on your left. Like this. From here to here. And two bands. On second to third on your left. Two bands. Third to fourth on your left. And two bands. Fourth on your left to fifth on the center. And now we're going to repeat this step and do it on your right. Two bands. On second on the center, going out to second on your right. Second to third on your right, third to fourth on your right, and next one, fourth on your right to fifth on the center, from here to here. And next, we're gonna do its ear right here. We're gonna need two of these. For the ear, I'm gonna use darker color, the same color I used for the ball on his head. I'm gonna take one single band and twist three times you will see four rings here and take one single band like this and move this through like this and then put both ends in here and I'm going to take another one and move this through and you can do it like a, doing the single on the hook and that's for our ear for the ear I'm gonna press right here first one from the bottom on your left and we're gonna make one more piece and press right here on your right the same, take one single band 
twist three times. You will see four rings here. Not a single pin. And take one more single pin. Bring it in here. Like this. And now I'm going to place right here. Fourth on the bottom on your right. Now I'm going to show you how to make this lower part of the mouse. We're going to take one single pin, twist three times. You will see four rings here. And for the lower part of the mouse, we're going to use two pins. And bring this here. And put the other end on the hook. We're going to do this one more time. Take two more bands. Bring it through here. Like this. And then take one single band. Bring it through. And it's going to be like this. And we're going to use this part and press on the room. After we finish making this lower part of mouse, we're going to press right here. One end and force from the bottom on your right and the other ends force on your left from the bottom. It's going to look like this. Now we're going to press horizontal band. We take one single black band, twist one time. You'll see two rings here. And we're going to press right here from second on your right to second on your left. And for here, we're going to use this horizontal band as eyes right here, when you see on the side. So I'm going to make one more band so you look a little bit bigger. And you can just use one time, it should be fine too. So you take one single band and twist one time. You'll see two rings here. And the same, press right here. The same press like you did for the first time. And next, take one single body color, make a little upside down triangle here. And next, we're going to continue on to do the neck. For the neck, we're going to take one single black band, twist only one time. You will see two rings here. And take three bands of body color. And bring it in here. We're going to press right here, continue on in the center for its neck. And we're going to continue to do this for six times. Take one single black band, twist one time. You'll see two rings here, three bands of body color. And then press right here. Again, single black band and three of body color. We're gonna continue on here, and this is three. So we're gonna make three more times. Four. Two rings here. And last time, one single black band, twist only one time. You see two rings, three bands, a body color. For the neck, we're going to use three bands all the way through the neck. And now we're going to do the cap band. And we're going to take one single band, twist one time. You'll see two rings here. And place right here, last one on the center. 
and this is just like a regular cap band and you do three times so you will be strong enough to hold it one more time and three like this now we're gonna rotate our loom and start looping gonna reach under all this cap band then grab all three on the bottom and hook it to the next peg here and the same grab all three hook it to the next peg grab all three hook it to the next peg here grab all three hook it to the next one here all three grab the bottom three we'll get to the next one here when we come to here we're going to look for these two bands should be the first two and grab it and when you pull it you'll see the bands are moving that means you grab the right band and hook it to the left and then next we'll find these two bands should be the next two and hook it to the next one on your right and the last two we want to pull this lower part of mouse in here and then you grab it and then you go through here under here grab it grab the bottom two hook it to the next one here and now we can bring the mouse, the lower part mouse, back here like this. And now we're going to start looping. We're going to start from your left. We reach in here, grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Grab the, grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. The next one, we're going to look for these two bands and grab it hook it to the center here because this horizontal band is two loops so it's going to be a little tension here so be careful so you won't break your band and hook it to the center here and here got some tension here you can use your hook to release the tension so now you can see the teardrop here now we're going to do it on the right reach in here grab the bottom two Remember only grab the bottom two, you don't want to grab any more or less. And when you pull it, you should see the bands are moving. And then hook it to the next one. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Grab the bottom two and hook it to the center here. And again, this is going to be a little tension here. If you have hard time pulling it, you can hold it and release some of the tension here that way you won't break your hook or bands or you find your way to hold the band because this horizontal band is two loops so it's, it's kind of tight if you just pull it, you might either break your hook or break your bands so that would be safe way to do it and now we're gonna come back here and do the center part. Remember to come back here and finish up the center. If you don't do all of them, after you pull it off, it's gonna fall in apart. And right here. And this is our head and neck. And now we're gonna take one single band and grab it through. You put both ends in here and grab one end through the others and pull it. And now it's time to take it up. You can use your hook to help to release it. So you won't pull too much. That way you don't have to fix too much after you take it out. And this is our head. And now we're going to put it aside and then use it later. Next, we're gonna make its body. The same, we're gonna keep our loom selling a little V here 
and keep your red arrows point away from you. For the body, first we're gonna make the legs. For the leg, I'm gonna use three bands, at least three, or if you wanna do four, that would be fine too. So I use three bands. Three bands, I'm gonna use for three times. And now I'm gonna take one single black band and twist two times. You will see three rings here. And press right here on the last one. And we're gonna rotate our loom and start looping. I'm gonna grab the bottom three and hook it to the next one. Bottom three, hook it to the next one. Bottom three. And then when you're done here, we're gonna take it up like this. And this is one of the legs. I'm gonna take it up, release from the hook, and you should be fine just like this. We're gonna need four of this. So pause your videos, make three more times, and you will have four legs. I already made mine. I got four legs here. And then I'll see you when you're done. Next. I'm gonna make the body part here the same. Keep your red arrows point away from you. For the body part, I'm gonna use two bands. Start from first on the center to first on your left. Two bands from first to second on your left and second to third. Two bands, third to fourth and fourth to fifth. And then last one, we're gonna go from here, fifth on your left, and going up on the center, diagonally, diagonally, from here to here. And we're gonna repeat this step and do it on your right. Take two bands from first on the center to first on your right. First to second on your right, second to third, two bands. Third to fourth, and fourth to fifth, and the last one on fifth, and going in to the center. So you create a little upside down V here, and a little V here. And next, I'm gonna take one single black band, twist only one time. So you'll see two rings here, and take two bands of body color, Bring this in here. The same like we do its neck and tail. And we're gonna start it from first to second on the center. And we're gonna continue to do this all the way to here. I'm gonna show you one more time. Take one single pen, twist one time. You'll see two rings here. And take two pens. And place right here, second to third. Single pen, twist one times, bring it in here, single pen, twist only one time, single pen. And now we're gonna press its leg, the leg that we already made. Remember we use three bands for the leg, so you gotta make sure you bring all three bands in the hook. Total you should have six rings on your hook. It's three on this side and three on this side. And now we're gonna press the legs right here, last one on your left. I'm going to do one more leg. Put all six rings back into the hook here. And then press right here, first one on your left. 
We're going to repeat each step and do another two legs on the right side. Put your hook back on all six rings. And then place right here, last one on your right. And now, last leg. Place all six rings. And then place right here. First one on your right. And this is the body part. And now we're going to press the horizontal band. I'm going to use two pens and make an upside down triangle here and two more bands upside down triangle two bands upside down triangle two bands upside down triangle and for the last one you can just use one single band or double band it doesn't matter now we're going to press its tail we're going to put our hook back we're going to put it back to our hook and this is the top of the tail and we're going to place right here make sure this top part is done and place right here first one on the center this is the tail and it's going to look like this and now we're going to take its head the same this head this part is on the top so we want to put it upside down and then we're going to take all three cap bands and press right here the last one on the center like here we're going to rotate our loom and start looping first since here has so many bands it's going to be hard to find the band that we wanted we're going to find the first two should be these two on the center you can use your finger to hold it so that way it's easier to identify the, which band that we're looking for and you go down there and find those first two bands and then grab it when you grab it you should see the bands are moving and then you hook it to the next on the center the next two should be these two bands so you go under all the cap band and grab the bottom two Hook it to the next one here on your left. The next one should be these two. And grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one here. And now I'm going to start working on your left. Grab. There are so many bands in here. So make sure you only grab the bottom two, which is these two bands. If you grab the wrong band, after you pull it out, you will have problems. So you grab it, and you will see a nice teardrop here. And hook it to the next one. Stay inside horizontal band. Grab the bottom two, and hook it to the next one here. Same. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. Bottom two, hook it to the next one. And then the next one, we're going to look for these two. It should be the bottom two. And hook it to the next one here. The last one on the center. And we're going to repeat this step and come back here and do the one on your right. Look for these two bands. Make sure you grab the right band. It should be the bottom two. Only two. Grab it and hook it to the next one here stay inside horizontal bank grab the bottom two hook it to the next one bottom two hook it to the next one bottom two hook it to the next one and next two should be these two and should be the bottom two grab it and hook it to the next one okay 
grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one, bottom two, hook it to the next one. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. And when you're done here, we're going to take one single band and put your hook through all the band on the last one on the center. And you put that single band on the hook and grab it through like this and you put both ends on your hook you're gonna grab one end through the others and pull it then you tie a knot here that will secure all the bands because there are so many bands here we wanna make sure this one won't come undone so while we're pulling it I will keep it on my finger just to be safe sometimes that happens and you could be frustrated and now it's time to take it up you can use your hook to release it so you won't pull too much but be careful don't break your hook that's pretty easy to break your hook here and now we can just pull it and when you first pull it out it looks like a sleepy dragon but that's okay we can fix it to make it look like my dragon so the way to fix it is you pull it you can fix it this rubber band is very flexible you can just pull it you hold on both sides where you want it to turn and you slowly little by little and pull it and adjust the way you want it to look and it should be fine it just takes some time to fix it and this one the neck part you're gonna need to pull a little bit more than usual because the neck is so heavy and you want it to be able to stand up by itself and this is its ball on the top of the head you can pull up a little bit and for the ears part here for the ears part I like to put on the corner here this part you pull only one size like this and you push this ear through so that way it will help to hold it to that way I think that looks better but it's up to you however you like your dragon to look and this side the same I pull this too just part of this two band in the corner and you push this ear through the hole like this and you don't have to do this part if you're happy with your ear stay you know on the other way and I think that will stick up a little bit more and it looks a little bit better and now I'm gonna continue to fix its body we're gonna hide this part, the secure band. You pull it right here, under here, and then you just put your hook through, find somewhere, and put through some of the band, and then pull the secure band through it. So you will hold it for you, so you won't get undone or kind of messy. And I'm gonna fix the leg a little bit more. And for the tail here, that's kind of messy here. So I'm going to take one single band and put it through like this. And I'm going to make wrapping around for two more times. You can twist like this and bring it through. That's two times. And do one more time, twist like an egg and then bring it through the hole you can do three or four times depending on how you like to look that way you will hold all these tails together 
in. And the last part for the neck, because we want it to stand up like this of all time. So I find this one. You find first one on the black band on the back here. You pull one. Just one. You have two on this band here, but you only pull only need one like this. And we're gonna put this head through this hole. Like this. So you bring this band to this way, that way you can use hold use this to hold its neck. So its neck you will be stand you'll be able to stand up by itself. And this is our dragon. And for this part you can hide it or you can just do it like this. You can think of it as a tongue. Like that. This is our little dragon. If you like these videos, subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you for watching. See you next time.